you, you know, know the other one, that one i i look at so, so that one it sounds like it's just a misinterpreted text or made up story the thing that happens a lot is people don't look like they used to this is actors aaron moriarty when the boys dropped everybody was shitting on her because she used to be prettier um yeah, zach efron was. zach efron his face has changed now it's kind yeah. of yeah, he's yeah, got like easter island head well and he it, had yeah. a he had an accident of some kind but it doesn't add up the accident is like five years apart from the facial change like it's is it it's yeah i looked into it i look i make really? mistakes but but yeah it i huh. it, it might have been more you already surgery. got plastic surgery to like it seems that good. way yeah yeah she looks and more then, like a um, cat than a person now tom cruise got a lot of attention lately because i guess he parachuted into the olympics and his face looked a lot different than it used to and uh <laughs> i'm like that chick from always oh. sunny what was her name she looks Caitlin completely Olsen. different she looks completely different i didn't she's know that 51 i mean you know she's hanging in there she, I remember but Jeremy. Yeah, not yeah, only Jeremy she Renner look different, bent, the, they put that huh? CGI shit on her too, like like that that weird filter that that makes her. I, I see it every mm, now and then. And this I'm is like, always sunny. Yeah, yeah. And then um, the Marvel guy who played is it Hawkeye, the white guy who could shoot bow and arrow. Jer yeah, Renner. Jeremy Renner. Yeah, so he got older, as we all do, right? And his neck got kind of loose, and uh, everyone was talking about that. And it's like, God, it is hard to have that many eyes on you. And when you are the product and someone's like, hey, you look expired, bro. Like, oh, you know, who does look expired. Anthony <laughs> Hopkins, dude. Oh, yeah. Dude, I'm watching. Like uh, there's this show on uh, Peacock. It's actually pretty good. It's a, it's it's uh, those about to die. It's about the Roman Empire and gladiators. And you, it, it goes back and forth between the emperor's family and like slaves and gladiators and chariot racers and shit like that. It's it's a good time. But Anthony Hopkins is the emperor of Rome. And he looks a hundred. He looks so old. He he can't have much more time left. I bet he's ninety two. In in RL, he's, he's eighty six. Is Just he? Check. He looks yeah. ninety two at least. He looks rough. Huh. <laughs> I can't tell the difference between eighty two and. Did you say ninety? He looks frail. He looks like 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 uh like like his character in the show. I'm like, is it? Is he gonna? Is he gonna die? <laughs> Isn't he is Biden eighty two? Is that what eighty two looks like? No, uh, Biden, I feel like the, Biden is 82. Isn't that right? I, I but what I'm saying is I wouldn't He'll be 82 fair in, to say that's what uh, 82 two looks like. They they hit him with a spray tan, you know. They, they, oh, you they think dress he's him a good 82? Nice. Yeah, he's a good. great 82. He's a fantastic 82. He's like top five, two percent 82 year olds in the world because they're hitting him with he's got a makeup artist, a hairdresser, and, and he's got a spray tan operator. Like, like a plus personal plus, doctor, plus he's his not voice. Fat operate the cameras that get point well all right he goes out in public so there's there's all kind of cameras but when he's in the oval when he's on camera for a, for a real event like look at the desk good he looks good for 82 I, I would argue he looks good sometimes he has good days sure you, you mentioned well. uh, you mentioned jeremy renner I didn't hear he it. got hit by a snow do you remember the snow plow thing that happened like a snow year cat. ago a not a snow plow, a snow, snow cat. The, like what the they use in <laughs> things to that they use on ski slopes, not a truck with a plow. Okay. And so like what how, how did that happen? Did he he bought one and then he ran yeah, over himself he, or he let a friend fuck I around think, with his right. snow cat and then he got all right. hit. So here's what this happens occasionally. You'll have mangled. a story where two guys and there's an accident and it's ambiguous exactly what went down. And they're like, oh, it all happened so fast. <laughs> they were horsing around, clearly, right? <laughs> like, 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 like I'm going to ride on the front of it. You ever <laughs> see that guy? <laughs> there's, this, there's this video of a farmer with a hay baler and he jumps out the side of the tractor and runs in front of it and lays down and lets it bail him into a square bale of hay. And it's <laughs> like, Jesus it, Christ. It's clearly fake. Yeah. But but I thought it was real forever, and I was like, that should have killed him. Because <laughs> I know generally how hay balers work. I've driven one before. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, maybe he knows right where to lay. But I think that's what happened with Jeremy Renner. I think they were horsing around with a fucking around. snow cat, and he's never going to be right. He's still, he said that. He's like, I'll never be the same again. He like mangled he's his legs, legs, right? Yeah. yeah. He on the hay baling thing so i watched this youtuber and his whole thing is making hay that's what he does he, he leases farms and makes hay and he's got a pretty big operation anyway he has subscribers who think that hay baling reference is the video you talked about is real and they're oh. all like i'm gonna prank you i'm gonna lay out in the field when you're bailing someday <laughs> and i'm gonna be in one of your hay bales oh. and he had to issue like a public 
what do they call it? Public P- service I, announcement? I, oh, yeah, thank so, you. Yeah. PSA, yeah. And uh, and he's like, do not lay in the fields while I'm bailing. Do not do that. There's yeah. a real chance I won't see you. I'm looking at like so many instruments and such like while he's doing GPS. that job. Yeah, and I think there's also like, I don't know, like uh, how hard it's working, how full the bail is, how much 20 mm-hmm. is. He has a lot to monitor at the same time. And he's like, there's a real chance I'll run you over. And it's not like that video. You die. You die. You'll be a <laughs> bloody mess. You'll all have just a smushy hay bale. <laughs> that yeah. the cows aren't going to want. It's gonna be oh, they'll love it. Gross. They don't mind. No, Dude, I just no. found a list of Jeremy Renner's entire injuries. This is so much worse than what I thought. I thought he kind of just got clipped oh, over the ankles. You know what a funny game problem. would be? Like, take his list and take Kobe's uh, autopsy report <laughs> and, and see if we can see if we can distinguish which one is which. Like, di- <laughs> oh, as this- soon as I see the deglove penis, I know who's who. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's where I was headed with all this. Oh God! I always <laughs> like to bring up worse. Kobe's degloved penis when. <laughs> I can't well, believe whenever I we found do the show really. that quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Leave out the deglove piece. Hold on, this, this, is, a this, is a, this is a this is a this is like twenty pages of yeah. autopsy report. Turns, and they really go into detail with these things. Well, it was his too. The doctors were really taking their time, like measuring his degloved penis and such. <laughs> you think I would love to. Man, now I'm curious, <laughs> dude. It, dude, it, I promise you, if one of our white dicks got degloved and chopped off in a plane gr- in a helicopter crash, they wouldn't find that shit. <laughs> yeah, they exactly. Found His the was dick. hanging out like a baby arm, and like <laughs> the field. Somebody They're looked, like, was like, Here oh my god, it's a child's yeah. arm. Oh wait, no, no, no. <laughs> I don't see what child's happened. Arm, both his apple. pinkies are there. How do we get an extra? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, looks like a snake died over here too. Oh my! <laughs> I will okay, say, th- honestly, me, this is harder than I thought yeah. because Jeremy Renner's injuries are so bad that some of these there's like overlap in in <laughs> what happened to Kobe falling out of the sky in a fiery cataclysm, and this guy horsing around with a <laughs> snowcat. See the All way right. Woody likes to hold Six. the doctor to the fire. I feel that mm. way about Kobe, so I never let it slide that he raped that lady in uh, in uh, wherever. Kobe it was. was a way better. All right, uh, that sounds right. Kyle, who's that. this? Six broken ribs in fourteen places. Oh, that's got to be uh, Jeremy Renner. You think that's Renner? Yeah. Give us that another one. Is, that is Renner. Okay, right. nailed it. One point. Uh, blunt trauma. To the neck, left shoulder, and lower abdomen. Kobe. Kyle? Say Renner. I'm going to go Renner again. That's Kobe. I, I need to not tell. be making it clear. He was, what he was torn to shreds and they're, li- and they're noting some bruising. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, traumatic amputation of lower extremities. <laughs> That's <laughs> Renner. That's Renner again. That's Renner again. <laughs> yeah, Renner's are six broken ribs in 14 places, wow. three breaks in lower pelvis. One Hoffa break in femur, displaced distal femur, right ankle broken, left leg broken, tibia broken, left ankle Jeez. broken, right clavicle broken, right shoulder blade broken, Jeez. eye socket, jaw, mandible broken, left hand broken, oh. wrist fractured, left foot, three breaks, two middle toes broken, left side of foot cracked, lung collapsed, uh, liver pierced with a rib bone, head, Whoa. major lacerations to the back, stapled shut, can't hear out of right ear. What? Major strain to right knee, unknown extent. That seems kind of thrown in here. Uh, contusion and impact to left eye. That is wild. Wait, did it have to do with his eye? Or is is that, will you show me a picture of a snow cat? Because I'm picturing the is it the, the thing with treads? With it's the, the thing like, yeah. it's on the front. I need to see one though to try to. Looks I, like I'm, I'm guess tank. It looks like tank. Dude, it's, it's, huge. A, it's like a snow tank, right? Okay, yeah, I wanted to make sure I was thinking of the same thing. Drives to try and save. All right, so we know what happened. Clearly, it ran him over. There's yeah. I, for a while, I was like, "What does like a snowcat have like a boom arm?" But as I'm thinking, I'm I'm doing what Taylor said. Like thinking of the the snowcat from The Shining, and I'm like, "Wait, he just got crushed." Imagine those blades, like like running oh, you over. He doesn't have to. Oh, let's hope that's not the one that got him. No, I think I think Renner's Dunzo. They got that's some the smaller one. ones. I would I would assume he doesn't have like a giant industrial. One. I mean, he's Jeremy fucking Renner. Hawkeye can yeah, afford a snowcat. Doing? What is he? What was he doing with it? Does he like plow his own snowcat ski stuff? slope? Just just futzing I mean, around. I mean, I wouldn't. I mean, maybe. <laughs> Not Wait, anymore. I, I'm wrong. It's a fourteen thousand pound snow plow. I think. I'm so. I'm sorry about saying. It was a plow. Yeah, but fourteen thousand pounds, and he had just used it to 
get somebody's car unstuck. I guess it was stuck in the snow. Then he got off the plow. Oh, here he is. See, that was my it. assumption. Was he just is let that it, him in it or is that a it shot that's blurry? I don't know. Oh. It does look like him. That's him. Okay, oh that's God. him. All right, all right. Good so, job, Zach. Wow. Yeah, thank you, Zach. I guess it was a snow cat. That's the body so cam. It's oh, a there's snow body cat cam? plow. So, Wait, why so here's what happened. Cam? In short, he helped un he helped unstuck somebody's car. He got out, and the thing like wasn't in park, and it rolled over him. Boom. Fuck. Oh, he was being nice, like Anton Yelchin. Remember I'm watching Star this Trek body action? cam footage right now. I got oh. crushed by his Durango on that Facebook shit. link. No, it was a Jeep. I remember. Wait, I want to get this out too. It was rolling, and while it was rolling. He tried to jump into the driver's seat to stop it from. Yeah, that's what I further, assumed happened. Farther. Was he left it running? He jumped out. Oh. It was probably stopped, like it was like in a snowbank or something. And he's like, "Oh, it stopped. He forgot to put it in park." It's yeah. a good deal of blood again. on the snow. Could use a stunt man for that one, huh? Yeah, he yeah, those Marvel movies went to his head. He thought he could jump into a moving yeah. snowcat. He thought he really could <laughs> disarm bombs. A stunt man probably would have done that. Cool. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I saw. <laughs> I saw Jeremy Renner walk on stage. He looked good in his outfit. I can't tell if he's really lopsided like this or if his mm -hmm. blazer just fit funny. It and was probably the lopsidedness. Probably, yeah. Recovering could, from grievous injuries. Be. Is and, his tailor uh, blind or was he crippled? Yeah. I couldn't see a limp, but the camera had like three cuts and he was walking from behind. Like he didn't get to really see his gait like yeah. I wanted. Well, it seems uh, like his he left side caught hell. So he probably is a little... Dude, there is just blood on the snow. He got fucking squashed. Shit. Yeah, I, I thought it might have been a little overblown when they were like, he almost died. No, very clearly. That's like a worse conglomeration of injuries than most people will ever suffer. We already lost Black yeah. Panther. We can't lose Hawkeye. <laughs> Black Panther died? Yeah, yeah. Panther. Smoked oh, too many no, I, I heard about this. For, for some reason, I didn't think it was the Black Panther actor. I thought it was a supporting actor from the movie black panther who died. there there he is i mean if after those injuries that's how he's walking i think he's doing great yeah well i, I was there's like a whole article about all the physical uh he, he's taking the physical rehabilitation seriously he's going nuts because he's like yeah. i gotta get back to work i'm well, shout out to jeremy Renner for surviving kind of a a hell of his and own it, making. A hell of his own making. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, going, I'm going to get in this snowplow. Oh, fuck. That just As sucked. a fellow physical moron, though, like I, I feel for him. I, oh, yeah. One time I was working on my truck and the the Tacoma, the parking brake, it, it was more like a suggestion, you know, like it, it would slow yeah. the car down kind of, but if it was on mm -hmm. any kind of incline, it would roll and you had to have it in gear anyway. The parking brake was on, but it wasn't in gear, and it started rolling back down my driveway. So I did the same thing Renner did. I opened the door while it was rolling down the hill. I hopped in the driver's seat. I hit the brake. Everything worked out fine. But it could have gone the other way. I have a steep driveway, but not like a super long driveway. Mm -hmm. And it was maybe two winters ago after we got a lot of snow, and I had like pulled up, and I was just going to park my car in on my uh, driveway because there was something in the garage at the time. And I parked it and I got out and as I was getting out and like opening the door, my whole car started sliding backwards and I had like a cognitive, like I was, I wanted to jump back in the car mm -hmm. and I literally pulled myself back away from the door. Cause I had like a flash image in my head of myself, like getting clipped by the door and then having my head oh, yeah. exploded like a cantaloupe on my, my snowy driveway. And I was like, no, just step back. It'll slide to the bottom of the driveway and then you can just, Drive it back up, and that's this, what I did. Because I, I'm, I I'm, I'm mad. Reddit got rid of that board where you could just watch videos of people getting crushed by industrial equipment and oh my fall, God. falling into bailers and shit. Because so that shit instilled. When I watched all that shit, I was like, "Oh, don't work in a Chinese factory. Don't try to chase down your car that's you know running backwards." It's just like had really don't ride a bike in in Brazil or is it bad to grab a lathe? <laughs> yes, it is very bad. <laughs> okay. Don't wear anything near a lathe. If you're working with a lathe, you should be completely naked at all times, and if your penis tucked oh between your God. legs, because they just you... suck any part of you into that thing and spin you around like a woodworkers rag doll. will tell you if you work around spinny things, gloves are more dangerous than you think. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like the leather palms on a gloves will really grip and 
you know, get caught up and it'll be a problem. Oh yeah. Dude, lathes in China are like mosquitoes in Africa from what I can <laughs> tell online. Because they're just, they can't stay away from those things and they're getting shredded. Yeah. shredded. Chinese people just, they're constantly spinning shit for some reason. And they just you reach right in. Up. One guy who's like 55 years old. It's clearly not, he's clearly the lathe guy. It's not lathe day one. It just reaches <laughs> reaches in, gets torn to shred. I, right. Kyle sent me one like lathe accident video years and years ago, and I think I've only seen the same one a couple times. And I hated it. Just seeing like, oh man, you can really go from like a person who could have had dinner that night to just. A wet Dude. bag of meat spinning Dude. in a circle endlessly. I've seen the other side of that twice recently, right? So picture a big industrial spinny thing. It might be a lathe or something called PTO shaft. And uh, some guy gets too close to it. Twice this has happened, like this month. And it completely rips their shirt or jacket off. And they're a thousand percent okay. They're just <laughs> disrobed. <And they're> like, <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> like, do you know how close that was? Yes, I do know how close that was. <laughs> you know, they just lost my button down shirt. Did you see uh, that Atlanta airport sucked into engine? I need to find that story. This like woman oh who was like on the tarmac, I guess wasn't paying attention and walked in front of a, a going engine, a running engine. And she got sucked in and like the, the news picture like showed the aftermath and it was just, it's like a cartoon, just like a red spray out from yeah, behind dude. of the engine. Like it's, it's fucking insane. I've like seen how, it do you even have times. a second to realize what's happening when you're sucked in? Like there must be a split second where you realize your error. Then that's so scary. There's nothing it, you can do. The way the suction works, like when you're not in front of a tube, like I'll make up numbers. So don't, you know, six foot is deadly. Nine feet doesn't feel like much, mm -hmm. you know, like it, it all comes from right in front of that engine. Yeah. Remind, I saw one video years ago of people getting out of a helicopter and someone like the way you'd like get out of a car when someone parks, sometimes you walk around the back to, you know, walk in or whatever. Oh. And this person walked around the back of the helicopter while the rotor was still going. And it just, oh, poof, God. just, just head gone. Pop just dead head instantly. I mean, that's obviously not a thinking man's mistake, <laughs> but you, they're like kind of invisible when they get spinning like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's, oh, every time I see videos like that, I'm like, I'm no better than that person. Like, I could have been got, like, I could right? be the person. At least not on your worst day, right? Mm -hmm. That guy's probably better than that guy 80% of the time. Yep. Yeah. Just one horrid mistake and like, Nope, life's over. That's the end. I could see myself, you know, taking out a ladder, not seeing the power lines. The next thing I know, I'm one of these guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not above that. I saw a video. I don't know. I was like, those guys are dead. And somehow they're alive. It was like three kids going to whatever Chicago music festival. And they're like, let's take an iconic picture of ourselves sitting on the Chicago train lines. You know, and the three of them are sitting there. And then one guy reaches back and touches the third rail. And his buddies are like, what are you doing, man? And then the girl reaches for him. She's like, Grr! and his other buddy's like, ah! My friends are on fire and 10 million <laughs> volts are going through their body. And then they're like, somehow they survived that, which made no sense to me.